Okay, my name is Johan Lowe. Um, we are a transaction advisory team uh, consisting of three people, uh, technical expertise, legal expertise, financial and uh, transaction advisory in one skill. Um, and we assisted the municipality with the transaction from the beginning of the PPP process, uh, process right through to the final signing of the agreements with the municipality and the private party. This is a um, regional um, facility serving the municipalities of Bito, uh, Neisner, George and Mossel Bay and they share in the cost of it uh, individually. They were not able to do it on its own and it's uh, assisting also in the environmental process um, to have a better management of the environmental management of landfill sites because it's a very very expensive process at this moment in time. Initially this project didn't uh, receive uh, um, uh, treasury views and recommendations, uh, positive views from treasury um, and we had to uh, link the payments from the municipalities to the district municipality and what we have done we have actually implemented a new bylaw to own the functions uh, of uh, waste disposal through the municipal, uh, district municipality um, and that gave them the authority over the service and have that service um, can now um, put tariffs in place to render the service to the local municipalities as, uh, as a service provider to the locals. This project is the first of its kind in South Africa um, and we have also one of our members of our team have done his um, legal degree, M degree on it and that is now a guideline for the country going forward. Okay, Johan Guy, um, Garnu District Municipality, District Waste Management Officer. So, um, the majority of the municipalities in the, in the Garnu District have um, implemented a two-bag system. So, it's where the separation of recycled material can take place at source. Some municipalities have a three-bag system, um, which have a green bag for their, for their green waste that they've implemented. Um, we've implemented a home composting pilot project. Um, that we've that's, that's proved quite successful at the municipalities um, where we provide households with composting bins and worm farms to divert their organic waste from landfill and up to 25 to 30 kilograms of, of organic waste per household per month has been diverted um, by, by means of this project and um, if it, one takes the transport um, collection and man management of that organic waste into consideration it'll be, be very beneficial for municipalities to roll that out further as well and then we ongoing public awareness education at schools but um, yeah I think the the public can get involved and, and where they can assist the municipalities is to make use of those um, facilities or the recycling programs that are in place make use of the facilities um, that are available for recycling and minimization and I think at the end of the day just to be aware of waste and the amount of waste that we generate. Um, change our, our behavior in terms of waste generation and um, waste minimization. So take part in the recycling programs, change our behavior, be aware of waste. I mean, if we walk around in the streets, we don't even see the litter lying around anymore. We don't see illegal waste dumping sites anymore. It's become a norm. So yeah, be aware, change your behavior. Just an example is when we go to a shop, you buy one or two items, and the lady or the, the person at the till says plastic and we say yes without even thinking about it. Um, and we said with our necessary plastic bag. So, you know, we, we could have just carried it out. So, yeah, behavioral change, be aware. I think we will find ourselves in today in terms of service delivery. Various challenges that we do have. For us in municipal health specifically, you know, when this idea came up about a landfill site, I think, you know, we didn't really knew how big this project is going to be. Initially, when we started off, you know, the estimates were that this is going to be, ach, it's only going to be a couple of million for this whole uh, total project. Later on, we realized, wow, this thing is actually going to be much bigger than that. It's, it actually came to nearly a billion rand and it's very intimidating when you actually 
have to manage a project like this with this magnitude. But you know, when you become quiet and you realize about the power of unity man, and teamwork and you realize the strength in, you know, when people get together and they've got one vision, anything is basically possible. And I think where we are today, this is actually just where, you know, all that visions actually just become visible. So what I would like to say in terms of any other project, whether it's waste, water, electricity, I think if there is excellent teamwork and people really don't care in terms of who gets the credit, you know, great things can happen. Um, so I really want to, for this project, obviously a lot of leaders, but I think in the final stages, we thought that this project is going to go nowhere. But when the municipal manager stepped in and the, the, the mayor currently stepped in, you know, they actually, um, during the last stages, became that kind of motivation for us. And they actually concluded this whole project. So again, you need excellent leaders, specifically political leadership, and then obviously your technical staff to make any project a success, whether it's ESCOM, whether it's our water crisis, whether it's whatever kind of service delivery um, issues that we do have. Once people are focused and have one common visual, one common goal, I think great things can happen in small communities, uh, in cities, uh, in this country, in the world. And I think for now, uh, this is really a town for South Africa and it's time for Africa as well to show the world, you know, what we are capable of. So I don't think any challenge um, would be that difficult and that complex if we can all just, you know, sit together and realize, as the MMS said, no man is an island. Uh, you're my brother, you're my sister, we're going to need each other. And I think then, ah, man, we can, we can take on, on any project, but I'm, I'm really confident for that. But you need strong uh, leaders like Morten Harvey as well. I need to really, um, you know, um, highlight um, his brilliance and his passion and many more, obviously. But um, you need to have one technical e uh, expert like Morten who's got the, the passion for this thing. And then all of us should just support that. Then, you know, communities benefit. So yeah, in a great, in a big nutshell, I think, yeah, it's, 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 it's any project that can work, man. Yeah, thank you.